chair and playing Batman. Press H to begin. Red Eye Beat. So last time on the previous episode, uh, we fought Batman, you know. Uh, but what's his name? Harry or Harry? We're just gonna call him Harry. Uh, Harry's running for president. Harry's running for president. Uh, that, that, that dude. You're talking about buying our house and, you know, talking about our father dissing us. And now our old friend from uh, back in the day wants us to meet him at the park at 6, well, I think at 6 p.m. So, yeah. A little recap. I could tell this used to be a beautiful part. Goodness. You know, I'm gonna give you some chance. Uh, thank you, sir. To buy it too. You, but no Oz. I'm gonna get my other iPhone. I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna have like a face cam when I record my videos on mobile next time. Hey, beat it. Beat it. Just like, I'm gonna be doing all kinds of shit. Friday Night Funkin', other mobile games, creepy mobile games, 3 a.m. challenges. I like that. Now. Hey guys, we're here back with another 3 a.m. video. Whoa. Well, that isn't what it used to be. So what is awesome to get Watch, watch. 
Watch Wallet Cash. But this goes through you. Nigga, I'm... Hey, you heard it, man. The hell are you waiting for? You're making a mistake. You already made one. Coming here. The next one kills you. And him. Nigga, what is it? Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right. This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're holding the moment. Come here. Think that'll do? Stay down! That nigga got a gun. This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. This is my park! Mine! You hear that? <laughs> oh, hey Bruce, you've got a little, uh... Eh, yeah. good as new. Woo, that was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't why I brought you in, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little roost I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. Well, those were better days. That they were, yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. Now all I got is this park. And what's left in this flask. I'm... I'm sorry, Oz. No one should have to go through that. Thanks, Bruce. But we are not the only ones suffering. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home! That oily... <sighs> Wish I could have punched that grin to the back of his throat. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than Blood I planned. Like Things are going to be on the upswing soon, though. A revolution, a revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. So is Harry. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. My revolution starts. We're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, 
It's not going to be pretty. It's going to be beautiful. What are you saying about and I can't friend? wait to get started. I'm not your enemy, Lois. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Cheerio. Right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. But we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. We're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility, one that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. And Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? I'm here today because I want to heal Gotham to stop the culture of crime that's running our streets. I sure do. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man. Good, you lad. <clears throat> Who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide? Need to be stopped. With this facility and our next mayor, we create a new face for Gotham. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night. We dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? We should tear down the walls and erase it from the map. I don't want us lingering on past mistakes. I want us to focus on Gotham's future. We... All right, who's up next? Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You even shook his hand. Wait. 
Harvey is the one who invited him. Bruce? Personally, I would never welcome that man into my home. Anyone else have a question? Please, keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? I don't comment on rumors. Why don't we just stick to real journalism here? Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' Shut up. paychecks? Shut up. All right, this press conference is over. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage control's my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please, settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. What? You're inside my house? My big old mansion? You must have thought a black man with a mansion? Gotta be drugs in here. Search it. Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. What'd I do? It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I'm sorry, are you arresting me? Not unless I'm forced to. We're only collecting evidence today. I didn't do anything. That's what we're here to find out. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only, we only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. Who authorized this? I know you and the DA are buddy buddy, but this one came from the top. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Well, Hill has a history of making his opposition disappear. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne, that's all. But if they become fact, I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. If he's trying to take us out, so Harvey will go down. So he's attacking us because of Harvey. He must have seen the uh, the uh, election thing. He have to. That's the only reason. Bruce, stay back. Take whatever you want. You, you don't have to do this. I didn't mean to interrupt, but... Uh, 
Uh, it's... It's not a problem. It's not a problem, really. Ah, <sighs> Bruce. First the mayor's office, now Wayne Manor. <laughs> Gotham continues its streak of break-ins. <laughs> really going for the record, huh? Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. I appreciate the offer, Miss Vale, but trying to say I'm the good guy here... Instantly makes you look bad. I get it. So let me say it... Received supposed evidence, evidence like, like every other media outlet. And it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball and ran. Not every day you get to go after a Wayne. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. Either we can accept the bloody offer, or we can refuse. I'm thinking of refusing, bro. I'm thinking of handling this by myself, bro. I'm thinking of letting Batman do all the talking real quick, but, um... Turn it off, Miss Vale. Oh, but Bruce... Until I know what's really going on, I am not speaking to the press again. Yeah, I gotta refuse that, baby. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Vale. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies. My family. We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents? It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Beach was crazy. Oh, I had to make so many important decisions, bruh. And I did not mean to blame that on Harvey, bruh. Or Harry, or whatever his name is, bruh. Oh my goodness, bruh. Well, that's all for today, guys. If you want a part three to this, you're gonna get it either way. I'm telling you that right now. This shit is interesting, my boy. Anyways, I'll see y'all in the next episode. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell if you haven't already. And I'll catch y'all in the next time, bro. Peace out. I'm out.